What's up YouTube, Lobo Dream Media Productions here, and today I have a deck profile for Battle Unboxers, uh, which is like kind of surprising because this deck is absolutely terrible now, but um, with the new ban list, like every time there's a new ban list or um, like something happens where the game slows down, it always gives me like, you know, a slight glimmer of hope that I might be able to uh, take this and do decent at locals again, but um, this is probably not going to be the case, but anyway, I thought I would uh, put up a profile because I think it's been close to a year, maybe a year and a half since I put up a profile of Battle Boxers, so I thought I'd just uh, update it, but um, whatever. Don't go taking this to uh, any sort of event and expect to do well because you most likely won't. But uh, anyway, I'm um, playing, as usual, three battle boxer glass draw, uh, glass draw. If you don't know what he does, if he is targeted for an attack, he self-destructs. And then when he's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, he adds a battle boxer from your graveyard to your hand. So, um, in previous uh, years, people have, uh, I've seen people cut this down to two. But nowadays, you really want to play three, uh, especially like now with the game like going the way that it is that you're going to need three most of the games in order to um, keep going, keep uh, your resources going, um, being able to keep uh, getting uh, switch hitters or whatever into your hands so you can keep making uh, plays every turn because if you don't, everything else is just going to outpace you and you're going to lose a lot quicker. But uh, three of this is pretty mandatory. Um, then three of probably the best battle unboxer in the deck, uh, battle unboxer headgear. When he's normal summoned, you send a battle unboxer monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then zoom in a little bit. Uh, then once per turn, he can't be killed by battle. Uh, that effect isn't really as relevant as it uh, has been in past years, um, but its uh, sending effect is still really really good. Uh, it's really necessary for getting your engine going getting your glass draws in graveyard to uh, recycle things, or getting whatever battle unboxer you need from your deck to the graveyard so you can add it back with a glass draw later. So uh, three of this is always mandatory, no matter what uh, format or whatever it is, because it's like your pseudo starter card, but this deck doesn't really have a starter card, so um, whatever. And then uh, the last three of I'm playing is three battle unboxer spar. Um, you need if you don't know what this well you probably don't know what any of them do. So, uh, you can if you have a battle unboxer monster on the field you can special summon him from your hand but then you can't special summon I mean uh, you can't conduct your battle phase for the rest of the turn. So it's like Bahamut Shark where you can activate this during your main phase too after you attack to um, special summon it so you can still attack with the other stuff. Uh, this is necessary always necessary at three in my opinion uh, especially nowadays because switch hitter which is your main exceed maker. Uh, restrict you to only ba summoning battle unboxer monsters, so you're gonna need three of this in order to summon as many non battle unboxer exceed monsters as possible. Uh, so, again, three of this is most of the time a must. And then, uh, I cut uh, battle unboxer switch hitter down to two. Um, the reasoning behind it is that he is uh, like pretty bad, uh, especially nowadays because everything else is so fast. And you usually can't really afford, especially in today's game, to um, only summon one battle and boxer monster. Like, Lead Yoke is nowhere near as powerful as it used to be um, with all the other stuff. Like, the deck, like Castells, um, like Infernoids, Banish stuff, I think. Um, just a whole bunch of other stuff. But uh, you still want to play at least two, so you can still have it, draw it, um, make other things. But uh, it's no longer necessary at three. Then the rest of them are two battle and boxer shadow. Uh, you can detach a exceed material from a battle and boxer exceed monster you control to special summon it. Uh, you don't want to play three because it's a hard once per turn, but you want to play play you play it because it's an extender. Uh, extender plays um, two is the ideal number. Um, and then I guess kind of like hand traps are uh, two battle and boxer veil uh, when you take. Battle damage, you can special summon him from your hand and then regain the battle damage that you took. 
Um, so this doesn't, like, if you got uh, swung on a free game, this doesn't stop that, but uh, it helps for just having an extra level 4 monster. So if this is in your hand, and you know you're probably not going to get OTK'd, you can just wait for them to have the last attack, and then you just special summon it, get back the life points, and then you have a guy on board for next turn to make a lead yoke. So, uh, yeah. And then, uh, the rest of the hand traps are the 1 max C for the new format, um, like... Max C is just so broken, especially now since it's a um, since it's a one of it's uh, kind of like Vanity's emptiness in that point where it's just a complete blowout card if you draw it, uh, and then two Ghost Ogres. Uh, Ghost Ogres are just like a good card this format, so uh, it kind of replaces Max C. Um, then I am playing a Kaiju Engine, which consists of uh, Gamma Seal, the Spider Dude. Uh, Moth and uh, Lightning Strike Kaiju. Um, again, this is the one that you always special summon to your side because it's the big one. Um, and these guys don't really matter too much. Uh, this guy's kind of relevant because if you. Uh, he's 22, which is the same base attack as Lead Yoke. So if you Kaiju Slumber and then summon him to your opponent's side of the field and make a Lead Yoke, you could just crash with him and then Lead Yoke detaches instead of dying. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then just these guys are just the smaller ones. Um, so you play those. I'm only playing four because Kaiju Slumber is at two now. Um, I don't really feel the need to play three um, really that much. Um, so that's it for the monsters. Spells, I'm playing uh, two Battle Unboxing Spirits. Uh, this is, is you send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, and then you special summon a Battle Unboxer from your graveyard in defense position. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, just a way to make more exceed monsters that aren't battle and boxers. Uh, you don't want to play three because you don't really like send battle and boxer monsters for, to your graveyard that fast. Then uh, the two kaiju slumber. This card is like insane. Um, like I kind of already explained it in the, the kaiju's. And then other stuff is two my body as a shield and two forbidden chalice. So these are basically like cards that are good both going first and second uh you want to be able to uh, effectively go first and second in this deck because like really there's i don't know because you want to be able to go second when you're uh when you lose the die roll you want to be able to effectively go second but going first is like all right too but you just want to play cards uh that are good both going first and second you can set these as traps uh, or you can just play them from your hand during your opponent's turn if they try to disrupt you with like a Toad or a uh, Drancia. So like this is good versus uh, uh, what's it called Zoo. Um, if Zoo is still good anymore, and then this is just good versus uh, Toad to negate stuff. Um, just to help protect you when you make your plays, making lead yokes. Cause like that's that's the best thing that this deck does is make lead yoke. Uh, and two instant fusion again, more just more ways to make uh, non battle and boxer exceed monsters. And then two twin twisters because you're gonna lose to back row, so uh, you want to try to not lose to back row. And also uh, foolish to dump your dudes, uh, book of moon, and then rota. Uh, book's good versus a lot of stuff, uh, and then rota's good too. Um, then traps, uh, double lost wind. Lost wind is so good. Uh, this card's just insane. Um, yeah, I don't really see uh, explanation. Um, then torrential. Torrential's good when you have lead yoke on board because you can just detach from the yoke instead of killing it. Uh, warning, because warning's good. Uh, compulse is pretty good right now too. Uh, just make uh, outing exceed monsters. Um, and then, like, if you have barriers and strikes, I don't, because I'm, like, poor. Well, not poor, but, um, I just don't feel like spending money on those. Um, you probably want to play those, too. Um, and then I'm also playing, uh, one Imperial Order. Imperial Order is absolutely insane. Uh, even with the Errata, it's still super good. Um, and even though I'm playing, like, quite a bit of spells, I still think that it's too powerful not to include in your deck. So, uh, the deck is, like, 43 cards, I think. Um, I tried to shave it down to 40, but there's just, like, too much stuff that I needed to play. Um, I couldn't really cut it down to 40. Um, extra deck. 
three lead yoke. Uh, this is your boss monster. Always has been. Always will be. Unless they give, like, a new, um, like, Zodiac Battle Boxer dude. Like, just, you can special summon this Exceed by putting it on top of Battle Boxer. But that's probably never going to happen, so lead yoke will always remain your boss monster. Uh, lead yoke, um, if it would be destroyed, you could detach it of an Exceed material instead. And this is an effect, so... Um, it's an effect, and this, if this is under it, and, uh, lead yoke activates its effect, you, and detaching this, this will activate adding you one back from your hand. Uh, so that's kind of relevant. Um, and then when a detach, when an AC material is detached, it gains 800 attacks. So, like, back in the day, this used to be uh, such a big threat, but nowadays there's so many non-destruction outs. So, uh, oh, rest in peace. Um, and then two Nova Kaiser. Um, this is a generic one. And then once per turn, you can add attach a boxer from your graveyard or hand to his material, and then it gains 100 attack for each material on it. And then uh, its other effect is that when it's killed by battle or um, your opponent's attack or card effect, then you spe you, you uh, special summon battle and boxer monsters from your graveyard up to the number of materials that it had on it. So if you have like Already, if you put uh, this, if you just summon this with two materials and it dies, you're already summoning two monsters back. So if you use the effect, you just summon a third one, and then if it lives another turn, you can just uh, like summon another, uh, put another one on it. So you're just special summoning four from the graveyard, um, and it's basically like a soul charge, kind of mini soul charge. Uh, it's kind of good, um, but there's just again, there's a lot of ways that you can kill it without destroying it, so it doesn't trigger. Um, and then, like, uh, if you have, like, a lot of materials under this and it dies, then you can just summon this, which is, like, insane. This card is, if you have five materials on it, this card will absolutely win you the game. Um, it's even more broken because when it has, uh, five, mat four materials on it, it can't be kaijued. So that's really, like, relevant, too. Uh, the Norden for your instant fusion. And then just, like, generic rank fours, uh, Utopia, Lightning... Uh, Emerald to put back your stuff, your uh, lead yokes mainly. Uh, Diamond Dyer, Castell, Roach is good versus Infernoids. Uh, Dweller is cool, and then Rhapsody, uh, you could put this on lead yoke to make it really big. Uh, and it's also good versus like Infernoid and Paleo. Um, even better against Zoo now, because like, you can just banish two of the rats and then they can't really play Yu Gi Oh! But. Um, that is it for this profile, guys. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure to like the video, um, I guess, comment on the video, tell me what you thought of this profile. Um, the mm, excuse me. If there's anything you want to see from this channel, just like comment and I'll most likely reply. Um, you know, just tell me if you want to see anything, uh, any critiques or whatever. I'm always looking for, uh, what's it called, ways to improve. So just let me know. And as always, thank you guys for watching.